Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today we are going to discuss about the test ng annotations. So so far we have covered uh, how how can we install this uh, test ng into our Eclipse IDE and creating test ng projects and adding some classes. So now we'll see uh, the annotations in the test ng framework. So these annotations plays a major role in the test ng framework because we can annotate any test case using a the right test and this will provide a good uh, understanding towards the entire test ng annotations so let's begin and we'll create a, the annotations in a, in a class so let me open my eclipse and here so i will create a new test ng class so for that we need to right click on the project and click on create test ng class and here in the test ng uh, it's a new test ng class here i can create a new package for i will say annotations and this is test demo and here we have annotations so you can select all the annotations so for demoing purpose i will select all the annotations so we'll understand the chronological order and the importance of this all the annotations so i'm not doing in data provider so for data provider i will create another session because this uh, this is very important as part of uh, current um, in uh, in the data driven approaches so we'll discuss that in more in upcoming videos so let's create this class now click on finish so as soon as i click on finish i will getting all the annotations here and here you may be surprising that if someone is new to this selenium automation and uh, there we will not have a main method here so the framework itself uh, doesn't have any main method but this annotation helps us to execute our main main uh, i mean conditions so this at the rate test acts as an one test case so we will create a two uh, at the rate test and i will say this as my new test one and under that i will add this out here so this is my first test case And similarly, I will create another uh, at the rate annotation. So, at the rate annotation acts as one test case. So, we'll create another one to demonstrate white new test two and we'll annotate and we'll create. And in this out, I will add so this is my second test case and here i will add this so similarly i will add all the uh, sysouts in all these methods and will execute that yeah now i i have added all the uh, sysouts in all the annotations so this is the thread test annotation which is acts like a current test case and this before method is executed uh, before and after I mean every uh, test execution so this method will be executed first then after your test will be executed and after test you will get an after method and this uh, before class will be invoked uh, before this method so before method uh, before only you will get this before method before class will be executed and before this you will get before test so before test then after before class then after before method then after test and you will have before suit also so before suit before test before class before method and then after test so we'll quickly execute this simple program and see the order of it so here you can see my test has been run so here you can see uh, we have this is my before suit so after suit you have test then after you have class then after you have method then after you have test and after test you have one again method which is an after method and second test before you have before method and after method and class test and then after you have a suit 
so suit will be executed after you after test ng publish all the results so suit will be executed all and this suit help us to add some extra code like after execution i need to send the entire report as an email format so email format can be added in the after suit so this is the uh, the annotations which is i mean which provides you the good understanding of execution of flow so let me show you its report uh, in that report also you will see the good understanding of uh, the order so let, let we need to refresh our maven project then after we need to go test output and here you will have this index.html so you need to click on index.html then it will open you in a browser so this is the the i mean report over you i mean outlook how it look like and this is the xml uh, test ng xml that we have been used so that it is an uh, whatever we give in the test ng xml a similar thing which will be displaying on the report too so this is the test ng xml so this will be displaying on that report and you have one test so we have performed one test so it's not like we have two tests and it we should count as a two no it's not that in case we it, it, it will consider this test as this and i mean this test ng xml we have right so under that we have this test so this test is equal to one test in case if you wanted to see how many test cases that is being executed in one test then you can go and check this report one second so in the times you can see we have two test uh, new test one and new test two annotations the annotation dot test demo and it takes 11 second it takes 4 second and uh, here is the one the beautiful i mean which provides you the uh, proper chronological order in a html format here you can understand better so if you see the order of flow how it has started and how it has ended so we have before suit then after we have after suit before test and after test then after before class after class before method test after method before method test after method so this is also one of the interesting and uh, uh, almost in every interview you may face this kind of question so what is an order of test and generations so this is an order so test class method test so we need to be we, i mean you need to understand this flow and in upcoming tutorials we'll create more on uh, we'll uh, try to demo a, an application maybe we can you choose any of the browser and we will launch an application so we'll provide that in upcoming tutorials i hope this session is useful for you in case if you're new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel there are many videos in queue so please stay tuned